Hey everybody, it's Leon here. Diane's behind the camera. What I'm doing today is I'm going to show you a burrito that we're putting together. Kind of got some stuff out of the refrigerator that, um, let me start my timer here on my phone. I don't want to go too long with the video. But, so we're doing a burrito with multiple ingredients. Some stuff was already done. And like this, for example, was already done. Diane had made that a couple days ago, so we're trying to use it up. So this, first of all, what I did was I put Earth Balance butter in it, and it's a vegan butter. I'm not sure what, I guess like vegetable oils and stuff. We don't really like to use oil oil, like olive oil like this. Once in a while we'll use it, but now that we're on plant-based, we're trying not to use oils as much. So this is what it is. It's the chicken strips, Morningstar Farms, and it's plant-based. And we shouldn't be using this all the time, and we don't. We just use it once in a while, these type of things, these pre-made stuff. You should be doing your own things, because it's a lot healthier. Just like if you were on a regular uh, meal plan or a regular diet, same thing. So I'm just sauteing this. I already pre-sauteed them, so I put the butter in there. I put some seasoning, complete seasoning by Badia, I guess. Very good seasoning. This is a good mix. I put a little bit of fajita seasoning in it and just do whatever to taste. Then what I did, never did it before, is I put some, the black bean juice. And this is just black beans that's in a can. So it's already cooked. I put black bean juice in it and that's why you see the darker color plus from the seasoning. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the mushrooms. I already pre-cut most of this stuff up. And then I'm going to add a little bit of garlic. I'm going to rinse the spoon out. So this is just a... Diane usually makes most of our meals, I guess, huh? And I love garlic. Both Diane and I like garlic, so I'm not afraid to put a lot of garlic in there. So that's just minced garlic. Same brand, I didn't realize that. So just mix it around and then while that's cooking, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cherry pe cherry peppers, cherry tomatoes, and I'm going to cut them. Diane's eating one. But normally I would use regular tomatoes, but we got a lot of these. There was some discounted toma cherry tomatoes in the store. I guess we got last week, and we got to use these up because some of them are starting to go bad. So I'm just cutting them in half, and then I'm going to throw them in inside the uh, saute pan here. And they don't need to stay long in the pan because they're just basically getting a little sear on them. And it doesn't take long for these to shrink really quick. Oh, I guess I missed a mushroom. Put the mushroom in there, and then I'm going to throw the tomatoes in. So mix this around, get the mushrooms nice and soft, I'm going to throw the tomatoes in, and this is all, there's no exact amount, you just put whatever you want in there. So and like I said, it's some of the stuff is, has been sitting in the refrigerator for a few days, so it's some things that we use for other other meals and you know I'm just trying to use up what we have we try not to waste as much as possible how's my time so we're into it about four minutes so we try not to waste we try to use up what's in our refrigerator doesn't happen all the time but majority of the time we're pretty good at it so we work from home both Diane and I I'm gonna we'll put the onions in we have a couple of platforms we work on with uh, online sales and so we're fortunate enough that we can cook at home eat at home we don't go out to eat hardly we actually did go to our first vegan restaurant yesterday I mean I don't know why we never thought about going to a vegan restaurant before but it was actually pretty good we had what did we have we had a panini Cuban Cuban a Cuban panini and then we had uh, 
Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, which was excellent. And now, it's vegan, so the panini had, they call it bacon, but it's just basically tofu, right? Right. And it's seasoned tofu. It was really good. And then the mac and cheese was actually their own cheese that they make there at the restaurant. It's then you can order it there too, I guess. It said that on the menu. You have uh, got to give them up to 24 hours before they'll, you know, be ready for you to be uh, made in their restaurant. So, but they make it, I think, out of cashews, raw cashews. I'm pretty sure. And then they season it, of course. But it was excellent. Then we had a, I call it a chocolate, chocolate cupcake. And then we had a, what was that, a cappuccino? What's a chocolate chocolate cupcake? Chocolate cake and then chocolate topping with Fro chocolate chips. Diane's frosting. all excited. <laughs> yeah, it's frosting. It was good. Diane was all excited about that. So I could, I guess, throw the rice in, but I'm just going to warm up the rice a little bit more. I warmed it up earlier already. And then we got the uh, avocado I'm going to put in it. And if you don't know already, I'm sure most of you know this, but just take the spoon and spoon it around on the outside. You don't need an avocado cutter. You know, we do have one. It's kind of like a butter knife and it's curved a little bit. We can just take the spoon, flip this over, and then just cut it up. Nothing fancy. So, everything's pretty much done. I'm going to take the beans, and this is what I'm going to do. We can throw this away. So that's the, the beans. We already have the tortillas. And what did I do with the, the tortilla is this. Alvarado Street Bakery. So sprouted burrito made with organic sprouted wheat. Look at that, 75% off. So these I think were like, what, six bucks or something or seven bucks. <laughs> so know. our local um, organic grocery store, well, not local, but it's about 30 minutes away from us, 35 minutes away. So I'm just gonna put that on for 30, sec 30 seconds to warm it up. Shut that off, cause that's already ready. And they basically, it, everything's organic. So, but I just learned last night, because I went in there to go see if they had any more discounted stuff. Because the one day we got Ezekiel bread for like a dollar a loaf. It's just over a dollar a loaf. Normally it's five, six bucks a loaf. But basically three days before the expiration date, they have to reduce it 50%. Then two days before the expiration date, they reduce it by 75%. So sometimes you can get some really good deals in there. Uh, but, you know, I mean, just cheaper way to get stuff. So that's done. Now, I need to put some beans in there. Let me warm up the beans, too. So I'm going to put a layer of beans. I'm going to have Diane actually roll this because she's better at it. Is that good? Like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. It's enough? Let me warm up the beans just a little bit. Just give it 30 seconds. And then basically just put the ingredients in. So we're going to have beans, avocado, rice. What's that? Which what? That? That's garlic. We're going to eat that raw. Because I already put garlic in this. That should be enough. So then we're going to add some rice to it. that enough for you? Mm -hmm. Or some more? Plenty. Mm -mm, that's good. Okay. So then we're going to add some cilantro to it. A little bit of cilantro. Okay. A lot of cilantro. It's good for you. This is cheese. But listen, it's not regular cheese like you buy in a regular grocery store. It's, it's Dea. Dea cheese. Pepper Jack style shreds. So it's dairy-free, soy-free, good source of calcium. What's in it? Filtered water, tapioca starch, coconut oil, non-GMO expeller, expressed canola and or safflower oil, 
vegan natural flavors, blah, 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 blah. You can see it all there. So that's the cheese. So we'll put the cheese on top. And then put a little bit of this, our mixture up top. Do you want the Asian thing in yours? Mm -mm. No. I'm going to show you the Asian thing here. Diane, she eats it once in a while. Is that enough meat? Yeah, that's enough. Okay, then we got avocado. Let me put a little bit of... Actually, let's do this. We're going to put greens. We try to eat greens at least once a day. I'd like to eat them more than that, but sometimes it doesn't happen. So that's just a regular 50-50 mix. Baby spinach, baby lettuce, baby greens, and whatever that word is. <laughs> and then some arugula. Arugula by itself has an okay taste, but we try to eat it with something. Put it in our salads or whatever. But this is the mixture I was talking about. It's a bean and pepper mixture. So let me open it up. I've already eaten a lot of it. We get it at the Chinese um Chinese market. Yeah, it's like a market grocery store. But it has beans and peppers. And it's spicy, but not too spicy. So we're gonna put the avocados on there. Just a few avocados. Anything else you want on yours? I think that's good. Okay. And then I'm gonna take the camera. Diane's gonna hand me the camera. And I'm gonna have her roll it. You want to roll it there or you want to roll it over here? No. It's focusing. Let no. it focus real quick. Real Hold on one here. second. Here, let me go this way. There we go. Now it's in focus. Let's see how she does. She's pretty good at rolling burritos. And there's a lot there. That's right. We use these. Show them those. The foil. They're foil sheets. And we use those. We just had them. I used to make barbecue all the time, and we've had them, so Diane uses them in order to keep the burrito together. i got to go on this side. Create a stabilizer. <laughs> right. Basically. So this is how she's folding it. One side. The pressure's on. Then the middle. There's a lot in this burrito. Well, yeah. it's coming apart because there's so much in it. Well, it's the wetness from the... Right, and then she's folding it. The beans. And it's not going to be perfect. Who cares if it falls apart? That's why I have this. Then she puts that in there. And then basically she can eat it from there. She just rolls the aluminum down as much as possible. Sometimes we reuse them too, just so you know. But get this. Next. <laughs> and nope, that's it. We'll just show them, show them the finished product. Look at that, how beautiful. So... It doesn't have to be anything fancy. I'm going to hand Diane the camera back. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just get some stuff in your refrigerator that you already have anyways. If you're eating salads and this and that. Just put some things together. So, you know, a lot of good ingredients. And it's good for you too. But thank you for watching. And let's see how much time we're at. Okay, we didn't do too bad. So thank you for watching. Follow our channel. We just started our Leon and Diane YouTube channel, and it's all focused around plant-based, vegan eating. There's going to be things on our journey, because we started plant-based 11 weeks ago. I think 10 or 11 weeks ago. It's going to be, Saturday's going to be coming up our 11th or 12th week. December 14th, 2019, that's when we started it. So in today's February 27th, 2019. But it's getting hot in here, isn't it? The kitchen. So wrap it up. All right, thank you. Subscribe to our channel. Make sure you give us a like and share the video. Hope you enjoyed our little burrito recipe. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.